Hey, welcome to another video. So with this particular cottonwood bark carving, it started off with quite a surprise. When I was when I first started carving, I noticed an imperfection in the bark. Initially, I thought it was some kind of um, knot or something like that. I really wasn't sure what in the world it was. But as I slowly worked it out and, and got down into the bark, I discovered that it was actually a bullet that had been lodged in the bark. So, I mean, that was, that was insane. That was quite a surprise for me. I'm very happy and fortunate that I worked it out with a really cheap draw knife and not one of my expensive gouges because that would have completely ruined an edge on one of my expensive gouges and I probably would have spent hours trying to reshape that and re resharpen it. So this carving is a carving of a small cozy cabin located on the hillside of a large river. Um, I'm not gonna specifically say where or post a picture of the actual cabin um, just to ensure the privacy of the owner. The cabin is very tiny, but regardless of, of its size, it's a perfect place for family and friends to gather and enjoy the hot summers on the water. So like all carvings, I started off by figuring out my depths and roughing out each particular part of the carving. With this one, obviously the cabin is the most important part, so I started with that first. After I roughly got the cabin about how I'd like it to be and, and its depths, um, I moved on to the trees and blocking out the tree texture, the leaf texture. One thing I noticed when trying to power carve the cottonwood bark is that you really have to be attentive to your direction of your power stroke. I found that if I did my power stroke in the wrong direction, it was gonna leave behind some frays or some, some fuzzies that I had to spend quite a bit of extra time later trying to remove. When I was almost finished power carving the leaf texture, I just wasn't totally satisfied. It looked a little flat to me. Um, and it seemed that it just lacked some crucial depth and shadows within that particular area of the carving. So I completely redid it. I took a larger Dremel bit and I carved in some larger sections with depth, giving it that, that depth and that, those deep shadows that I'm looking for. As you can see from earlier in the carving where it looked more flat to how I have it now, I personally think that it looks a lot better and that it really adds um, some depth and shadows that it, it needed. When working on detailing the cabin, I really had to take my time and pay attention just because the cottonwood bark can be really fragile at times. I used my smallest gouges I had and made sure that they were very sharp to carve in the, the windows and doors on the cabin. And my angled rasp really came in handy at this particular part of the carving just to get rid of those gouge strokes on the cabin and to make sure it's nice and flat and consistent throughout. This was really putsy and time consuming, um, but it was really important to me to make sure the structure of the cabin was correct. Otherwise, when it's finished, it's just not gonna look right.
up to this point my time in the carving was actually pretty low. I was making some pretty good time so I decided to add a couple of extra little elements in the carving down at the lower section. Initially I was just going to carve a simple grass texture here uh, with my Dremel, kind of like I've done in the past, but I decided to also add a fire pit with a rock path leading to the cabin. The actual cabin does have a fire pit at around this particular location, uh, so I thought that this was a kind of a unique way to finish off the carving. This last step of the carving, I didn't have a ton of it recorded. Um, I just didn't really think that it was worth putting in the video. There's a lot of moving the carving back and forth and spinning it around and things. I just think it would have been kind of difficult to properly capture that. All I did was I hollowed out the back of the carving to allow the windows in the cabin to be hollowed out all the way through. The reason I did this was because I finished the carving off by installing a little LED light inside the cabin. I then finished the carving off with a natural colored stain and a polyurethane uh, semi-gloss for protection. Thank you to all of those that have made it all the way to the end of the video here. If you have any thoughts or ideas on any future carvings, please let me know in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.